right, welcome. This is LLTC right here. Um, this is Intel up here. Here's the Intel level two. And I'll come back. This is after our tick charts on both companies. 150,000 shares. So that somebody sold big. As you know, the money flow dropped. LLTC here. Intel. LLTC right there. Intel right there. Level two right there. SMF Pro Traders. LLTC reports earnings after hours. They love to do lots of things. They like to drop the bids to buy it. Hedge fund managers like to walk it and drop it and buy it in after hours. Uh, 47 million, there was a big seller in Intel. 150,000 shares. Okay, so somebody unloaded the Intel going into the close because that's what they did. That's exactly what they did. And just to throw on the tape, ah, Google, closing price, 586.77, up $14. How right we are in our weekly formulas. All right, here we are, stockmarketfunny.com, waiting on the Intel news, waiting on the LLTC earnings, after hours, live action, dropping bids, pop, drop, buy, sell, squaring off. All kinds of things are going to be happening here. The tape. Here we go, people. CSX Corp just came out, beat by nine cents a share, so everyone knows. Last print of the close, 53.28. Stock is gapping up on the news at the moment at 54.6 by 54.63. So basically, all eyes on Intel over here now. CSX Corp will be a trade for tomorrow. And we'll go back to the LLTC. This is the Philadelphia SOX.X. It's called the Philadelphia SOX Index. And Intel and LLTC, they both trade in this index. If they make their earnings and they beat and guide up this whole sector, is going to guide up tomorrow. And basically, this whole sector has done real well off the bottoms in anticipation of good earnings. Intel right now, I don't have the earnings report. We're at $23, $22.87. Here's the after hours tick chart. It's all over the place. I don't have an actual number yet other than there it goes right now in the after hours tick. There is a level two. I can repeat. I still don't have a number. It's a good catalyst to take out the short. Here's LLTC, hasn't reported. Gapping up, gapping up. 43 cents a share, I believe, that everybody was looking for 38 cents. I got to find out the revenue. Everyone was taking 9.8 billion. We're going to have to have an earnings report. There, we got to find out more. This is the knee jerk. All right, on the revenue side, I got exactly 10.3 billion versus 9.83 billion. I've got 43 pennies versus 38 pennies. I beat on the preliminary, and so far I beat on the revenue, and that's what it is. And this is the after hours tick and the high and the drop, and we're going to find out more about the conference call. You can see the gap up on on the rest of the market in general, 63% on the gross margins, and that means that once again, versus the last quarter, hey, they executed well. And what is all eyes is gonna be on the street is can other semiconductors follow suit within this leveraging process and you could see the amount that this uh, semiconductor chain was up going into the iron age. So far, the Intel shares are doing what they do. And you could see that the other part of the market is gapping up on that Intel news. Google's gapping up. Last print, Google's got a dollar print to it. And after hours gap based on the Intel news. Harachi. So far, I've let everyone know about the Intel 
This is the LLTC down here, and I'm going to upload this tape right away.